Now with possible trouble brewing across the southeast, the disruption of supply chain across the Carolinas following the devastation from Hurricane Helene. Tonight, 50,000 dock workers are on strike, meaning the transportation of goods is in danger. Our Cassidy Byer breaks down how the Midlands could be impacted. It was just congested, trees down. I actually saw a tree fall on a car. They were trying to cut around the uh, construction guys, the work crews, and it just wasn't enough officer manpower to stop them. While communities continue to clean up damaged property and excessive debris on the road, it's heavily impacting those transporting goods. According to one truck driver we spoke to who didn't want to show his face on camera. The hurricane, man, it's impacted us, I mean, greatly because like the traffic jams, the congestion. Those transporting goods who are facing longer drives and delayed deliveries is only one part to how Helene has impacted supply chain here in the Carolinas. Research economist Dr. Joseph Von Nessen studies supply changes at USC's School of Business. So Newberry, for example, Newberry County still has significant power outages. So we see more disruptive effects there mainly because we're seeing a lack of power, number one, which affects business activity. Uh, number two, it's going to impact to the degree that we see roads and bridges washed out and buildings washed out themselves. So how does that disrupt the flow of goods from businesses to consumers and getting goods to businesses themselves. However, Helene's destruction is not the only factor economic experts like Von Nessen are currently having to worry about. Early Tuesday morning, nearly 50,000 dock workers throughout the East and Gulf Coast ports, including the one at Charleston, walked out on strike to demand higher wages. Nothing moving in and out of the port is my understanding now. So it's at some point that'll, that will be, that'll certainly be an impact. Because the port works so closely with many businesses in South Carolina, it has an unusually large economic footprint of about $87 billion annually. And to uh, put that into context, that means that the port directly or indirectly is tied to about one in nine jobs in the state of South Carolina. As a result, the disruptions of both Helene and the dock workers strike could not only increase the cost of certain goods for consumers and businesses, but shortages as well. Over time, uh, it can have the impact of making it harder for businesses to be able to ship products, ship finished products outside the United States to the final consumer. Um, so they may, uh, there may be some lag if those goods have to stay in South Carolina for a longer period of time. Casty Byer, News 19, WLTX. Well, weather-wise, let's.